And that just takes me two minutes, just two minutes when I wake up. So I am teaching my brain that I'm in control of my brain. When he started to share with me, to teach me that my entire reality was based on what I believed was real and what I believed was true about myself, about what's possible, and that I could change that, that's when my life started to change. He taught me the power of my beliefs. He taught me the power of, you know, what I do every single day matters. He started to teach me that the reason I was getting into trouble, the reason I wasn't getting great results was what I believed about myself. And he taught me the power of my beliefs. He taught me the power of, you know, what I do every single day matters. He taught me the power of the intelligence in the universe that I could utilize my brain like a radio you know, sends a signal out into the universe. He said, you could send a signal out using the power of your thoughts. He says, but you're also capable of receiving information, just like the great inventors, whether it was Albert Einstein, whether it was Edison, Michelangelo, any of the great inventors, they had these ideas that came to them and they were just normal human beings, but they took advantage of the messages that they were getting in their hearts and their intuition. Wow. And so he taught me some of the power of the brain and by using what I learned, I learned that I could achieve a lot more than I ever thought was possible when I was younger. And when he started to share with me, to teach me that my entire reality was based on what I believed was real and what I believed was true about myself, about what's possible, and that I could change that, that's when my life started to change. And he said, if you start to change the way you think, and you start to learn every day for one hour to upgrade your knowledge and your skills, and then you take action every day wow. on the things that are the most important instead of all the different things that you can do. He says, if you focus on doing three to five things every day towards your goals, he says, in one year, you'll be at a totally different destination. Five, ten years, your life won't be the same. And that was another lesson that he shared with me is that you don't have to reinvent the wheel. Yes. Like if you want to fly right now, you don't have to figure out how to fly. You know, there's already a blueprint for how to generate or create an airplane. Yeah. So if you want to be healthy, there's already a blueprint. If you want to make more money, there's already a blueprint. If you want to buy real estate or the stock market or start a business and grow a business, there's people before us that have already got the blueprint. And all you have to do is paint, paint the numbers inside the box and then you can use your creativity. Mm. So I just became a very good follower for a long time of things that worked. And when you follow things that work, it's like having the combination to a safe. If somebody gives you the combination to a safe and they tell you turn this way a little bit, yeah, turn this way a little bit, turn this way a little bit, turn this way a little bit, then open it, you can have access to it. But most people don't look for the combination and then even when they get the combination, they try it in the wrong order. And so I learned at a very young age, thank God, you know, to at least follow the initial plans. Then if you want to get creative, then you could add your creativity, your genius to that as well. And there isn't a hundred different things you have to do. There's two or three things in each one of the areas that's important to you. That when you do those every day, you're so far ahead of the curve. So I have daily rituals. So when I wake up in the morning, um, the first thing I do is I do a gratitude exercise where I ask myself, what am I most grateful for today? And usually, you know, I'm grateful for my health. I'm grateful for my wife. I'm grateful for my children. I'm grateful for, to be alive. I'm grateful, you know, for my family. I'm grateful to, to have experiences. While I think about that, I feel it. And so the feeling starts every day with a great feeling. Um, I see images of the things that I'm thinking about, and that just takes me two minutes, just two minutes when I wake up. And before I start my meditation, 
I look at my vision board from the past. So I get connected to the different things that I've been able to achieve and I remember every day when I set my mind and my focus to achieving goals, I can achieve all of my goals. But what I also do is I reinforce. Most people focus on what's not working. This isn't going well. This didn't work. I want to remind myself every day yeah. of look how many things I was able to accomplish by being clear, by being passionate, by using these rituals. So before I go into my meditation, which is with my eyes closed, I look at my achieved board. I get emotionally associated with it to remind myself that when I set my mind to achieve something, I can do it. In my meditation, sometimes I have uh, no thoughts where I'm just one with the universe and everything. Center. Other times, I'll just follow my thoughts and I'll just pay attention, be mindful of where are they going this morning? Where are they going today? So I'll follow my thoughts and I'll just follow them. Mm. Other times I'll follow a thought and say, release that one. And follow another thought and say, release that one. So I'm teaching my brain that I'm in control of my brain. See, most people don't realize that they are not their brain, that their brain is an organ. No different than your heart, no different than your legs, no different than your hand. And since we're not our brains, we can learn how to use the different parts of our brain. And if you don't understand the different parts of your brain, that's like having a sports car in your driveway, but you don't know how to turn it on, mm. or you don't know how to change the gears, or you don't know how to put on the radio, or you don't know how to turn the heat on. Most people have never been taught how powerful their brains are and for a simple reason that we haven't really known how powerful it is. We've had ideas, we've, we've, we've thought about it, but for the first time in the history of our species, hundreds of thousands of years on the planet, we're finally, in the last 10, 12 years, able to look a little bit inside the brain. And there's more circuitry in your brain then there is in all the telephones connected in the whole world. There's more circuitry in your brain than there are stars. And so when you start to go, wow, there's some real power within me. And if I learn how to use it a little bit better, maybe I could be happier, healthier, wealthier, have more purpose, have more meaning in my life. And so when you start to realize that you have so many gifts on top of the challenges that we all have, everybody has problems, everybody has things they're insecure about, you know, they're, they don't have confidence around, they don't have certainty, but that's everybody. So the key is to understand that, you know, we have an amazingly powerful tool that creates our reality and we're able to teach it to look for and find what we want it to create. So reality doesn't exist outside of here. Mm. We're in the field of everything and we can teach our brain to, to see things that we didn't see before. We can change our habits. We can develop, it's something we call deliberate conscious evolution. So we could deliberately choose to evolve ourselves where in the past we thought that, you know, you have to wait a, a thousand years or 10,000 years or a hundred thousand years to change. No, that's old school thinking. We can change now.